I play Bowser. But anyway, so we got uh, Jace versus PK Chris. We got the Ness versus uh, the Lucina. So on uh, on Battlefield. So this is going to be uh, real nice. Oh, never mind. It's a button check. Oh, I oh, have a button check. Start at my spiel, bro. <laughs> that said, like, uh, I, I'm a big fan of Battlefield. So seeing more and more. Oh, wait, hold up. Is this a button check or we didn't, we, I think nah. we didn't start it. Nah, they said, bro, this ain't no button check. We're, 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 I'm, I'm trying to get to this money. We're getting right into it. Uh, Jay says, look, we've seen the covers a lot of matchups, and I feel, I feel like that's why, you know, they decided, hey, well, double parry, okay, third strike. So that's why they decided, like, all right, well, we're just going to run the two characters for matchup purposes. But right now, PK Chris with the defense, the up air coming? No. Oh, oh nice. Oh, uh, <laughs> PK Chris was laying in wait after Jace burned his double jump there. He was just like, ah, I gotcha. Nailed him there with a down smash. Take the stock lead here in one. PK Chris uh -oh. is uh, here we up go. in the leg right now. Right? Doesn't air dodge. Smartly comes down with the aerial. Try to create space. The air dodge trying to up B. Not going to uh, get anything here. Jace. Oh, no. Now you're on fire. See, Jace having a little <laughs> bit of trouble just establishing some type of offense. But it's just so hard with Ness's mobility. And you have a grounded character like Lucina. One of the only matchups where being on fire is probably a really bad thing for you. Oh, right. here we go. PK fire making work. Oh, Jace had the up B there, but just didn't space it. Wasn't able to space it correctly. PK Chris was able to escape. PK right. Fire, what a good move. Just like multi hit, bro. Multi hit right. as a projectile, just kind of locks you in place. You can force a move out of somebody, like a force a defensive option out of somebody. It can Come basically the play, play the matchup for you if you're lucky enough. Honestly, it might even oh, be. Oh, what a strike or the big S smash there by Jace. He's got PK Chris reeling, trying to recover. Of course, PK Thunder with the assist there. Oh, and Jace the got turned kill? around, and PK Chris will send them back to the other side of the uh, stage. Yeah, I've got to be really wary here. One, wow, and just instead of opting for a grab for a back throw with that percent, just goes for another uh, another uh, charge smash attack with the yo-yo, just making sure that he catches them. And, yeah. like, Cause that's one, of the things with, that's one of the things with Ness is that the character doesn't have a ton of multi-hits, so you're kind of like conditioned to expect like, oh, if I drop, she, oh, PK Chris, uh, Jace right there strategically taking the damage from PK Thunder to prevent Chris from recovering. But because um, Ness has very few multi-hits, you're yeah. kind of conditioned to be able to respond after you dro drop shield, especially when Ness is pressured and you're grounded. So that was a really well placed down smash there at PK Chris. All right, uh, Jace a little bit earlier ago was able to, you know, kind of just get the stock by like taking that, uh, that PK Thunder, but uh, PK Chris has kind of been on a roll right now. And you got to uh -oh. wonder, oh, okay, the delay to back air after the yeah. magic cancel. But Jace right now firing back with the down throw, not getting the fall of me, like good tech by PK Chris. Oh, okay. no. Kicking you with the counter. I can't be mad at you. You got to try something, man. Like, oh, and the back throw will uh, do it, maybe? Okay. Yeah, yeah. just enough. I, I don't want to start the, is it going to kill? Like, I don't want to kill. I'll appreciate it. No one wants to get yeah, <laughs> yeah, the hedging from the commentators. But PK Chris putting that one away. There was no doubt. Uh, sealing it with back throw. Um, I want to say that PK Chris was essentially playing around Jace's double jump. Like a lot yes. in that matchup. I don't know if it's just uh, some combination of nerves or the matchup. Uh, Peter Hurst was playing that very solidly. There wasn't just a lot of like insane uh, space eating by Ness. It was a, a, a nicer way to say he wasn't mashing in the air to take up <laughs> all the space around Jace as much as I have seen other Ness players do. Um, so I feel like. Chris is trying to sit back a little bit more relative to the way other Ness mains play it. But you can see Jace right now strategically taking a little bit of time, maybe looking at a stage counter pick, trying to like take a deep breath and try to uh, come back in. And uh, maybe we'll see the Zelda. What do you think, Banjo? I mean, honestly, like the big problem with like uh, with that last matchup for for chase was like their mobility like it, feel, it felt like like they were just like honestly like getting their landings trapped and weren't able to circumvent the projectile game that ness had to offer so honestly like uh with the way like uh we saw the last zelda space i would opt for a zelda pick here just because here like, you can create a situation to where like you know what i'm saying you can just uh attack from space and like i said the only thing you gotta worry about um if your Jace is like, hey, uh, they can, um, 
they can absorb the the energy projectiles. But I mean, Phantom Knight, like nah, like you you, you have to eat that. So so here we go. PK Chris versus Jace, a game two. PK Chris in the lead by one after commanding game one. So here we go. Let's see if Jason get on the board here. Yeah, we're in uh, Pokemon Stadium two which allows Jace a bit more space and freedom to get uh, setups going. Right now, the feeling out process so far has been favoring Chris. Look at Chris, just sitting back. He's trying to see what Jace wants to do next. Yeah, and uh, like uh, it looks like PK Chris just a little familiar with the matchup here. He's just like, hey, look, if uh, if you want to use Knight, I'm going to give you your space. So you go ahead and get your space. Ooh, the pivot that grab. Was a really good two grab. A bear. Oh my God. <laughs> A little bit of spice on that. Maybe Jace isn't really that much time to get the Zelda warmed up. Got the Knight coming out too, looking for the down smash. Ah, oh, just a little bit in this time to miss space. But who would catch the up air there? Here we go, taking away Ness's ledge options. Very, very uh -oh. well done. And the the the, uh, the dare to uh, up the up. Excuse me, the up dare air. to up air. Yeah. yeah me. Dare to up air. Can I wish my character had a dare to up air. Confirm. Oh, oh, good stage tech there by Jace, avoiding the fate of being fared into the stage. Or he Chris. Right, just using the knight to get positioning. Good, uh, good teleport with the up B. Oh no! Well, what a smart grab there, but... There you go. What's the move here? Jason no yo yo. No, no yo yo. yo, -yo on ledge. ledge. Yeah. And, uh, oh, just right. reading the teleport, going for the uh, back throw instead. Very nice. Very well done. No. Chris was no, like, get these that. hands as he yanked or yeeted <laughs> Jace the blast up. <laughs> But, oh, no, oh, good uh, grab with punch there by Jace. That's right, use that buff up. move. <sighs> well, I'd like to see in some of these... Oh! Huh? What? <laughs> Was that just, uh, just a misfire there from PK Chris? Uh, but, hey, I mean, we take those if you're Jace. Uh, 100%. Um, I'm trying to get back in the game. <laughs> One of the things I haven't seen so far from Jace or the other Zeldas on stream so far tonight is using um, Knight in conjunction with, like, Rising Dare to, like, threaten a jump call out. Uh, oh no! What is this? The wing splash! Oh. Are you serious? Oh. Reflected a uh, 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 knight, a, a knight, a colonial, uh, a colonial knight, a magical knight with <laughs> with the Louisville <laughs> slugger. Are you serious right now? Yeah, Col on, colonial the style of the Boston Tea Party. It's Chris who's celebrating right now. I, I, oh my! I really God. lost the plot. But that's all good. Just Chris right now is trying to just extend this lead. Big there, rising there from PK Chris. And Jace right now needs to try and collect himself and bring it back. Throws an eye leg, trying to recover. At this point, you need cheese for this yeah. one. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that was a, that one hell of a play. The pivot grab, what you got? Ah, but the teleport not gonna connect nah. up top. Nah, Chris is denying him. He's like, you got one slice of Gordon Zoll earlier. I'm not gonna give you any more cheese. Look, uh, and I'm looking at like, <laughs> if I'm Jace, I'm, I'm kind of terrified, like, I, I keep spamming this knight, and it's just like, if he spaces it correctly, he's gonna send it right back again. And you know they can't have this. The edge yeah, guard not Zelda, gonna work here. But Zelda can't be afraid to use knight because otherwise that just, just destroys her entire game plan. So Jace has to be very cautious, but still confident in his ability to use knight. Right, and uh, it's, it's the range projectiles, right? That's really like hurting Jace. Uh, oh, there's... gonna get caught by that. Wasn't able to roll, uh, get the last frame of that roll. Ooh. We're gonna be able to get that spot dodge. And okay, Chris also isn't that... even remotely respecting Jace when he's trying to, like, jump in on him either. So, like, look at this. I mean, honestly, like, I have a stock lead. Like, and, yeah. you're, and, you're, and you're nearing the brink, bro. I can, I can do whatever I want until until otherwise, bro. I was gonna yeah, say, Chris. unless he botches, but he doesn't. Yep, watching the, trying to respect him a little bit on ledge. Oh, okay. I like what? the stall. Oh. Oh. The okay. drift can only cover so much there, and Jace just uh, throwing that knight out there. A big haymaker, take the stock here. All right, so how do you play this, man? How do you play this, bro? We're we're the one stock situation. You know, you you know you can't get touched. You can't get touched by Ness. The throw of the back air. I was gonna say they're out of shield might put you in a bad situation. Chris, oh. again, just not relying on the yo-yo at ledge. It's really interesting. Maybe he's uh, figuring that um, Jace will teleport above ledge to knock him off. So I think that's probably why he's chosen to do that option. Big! Sweet this spot there. The Nair, not going to do it just yet. Jace fighting for his life, trying to get into us to a game three here. Oh, the... 
Whoa, oh. no, the spaghetti, the jab to fair instead of an F smash there. DK Chris, kind of losing it right now. Jay's holding out 161 right now. This is really, really tense. Oh! In neutral, bro! He just threw it out! What a call out! Chris over committing his hit by the fair! Jace oh right there. God. Jace right there just relied on Chris being so tentative and playing so defensively and patient. He knew he could get one of those shield drops. He was confident and he nailed it. We're gonna get a game three between these two. <laughs> My man Banjo over there popping off. My chest. Oh, talk about unbiased commentary. Let's go. <laughs> My chest. <laughs> Little boy, Ness. You know what heel? You know what kind of heels these are? That was one hell of a bro. <laughs> that was like that was PK Chris's game to win. It was. But I feel, but I feel like it was just a little, little too much respect on that like second stop. Right. Yeah, no, absolutely. On that set, when you're ahead of when you're ahead of stock, it's just like, you know, you can just start letting it fly a little bit. You can put your foot on the gas and try to establish a lead. But the funny thing about that is that that's exactly what happened. But, you know, Jace was able to clutch out that victory anyway. So here we are in a game three situation to go to MSM top eight. Let's go. Somebody going to lose is unhappy. I want to see who it is. Always unhappy. If I'm Chris, the first big uh, opportunity I get to drop the Yo-Yo at ledge, I'm taking it because at this point, Jace has to feel confident about being able to recover to ledge when he's knocked off stage. Right, and the... See, oh, and that's, oh. that's what got the shield break last time, like... Just barely almost in another shield break there. But Chris right now, trying to play a bit more aggressively, but Jace, I like the movement from Jace, you know, Banjo, he's... he's uh, not just sitting back. He's also not overextending where he wants to go in. Yeah, oh, but, yeah, bro. The big problem with this is that Jace, unfortunately, like they they literally get in oh. PK Chris's they literally get PK Chris's face, and in response, PK Chris is just like serving uh serving them the mix. Like when you get in your face, it's just like I'm getting the most possible damage out of these combos, and once that lead accumulates, it's just snowballs after that. And Jace, as, as smoothly as he's started to play this, he's still making some panic off, and which, which led to that stock loss there. But here goes PK Chris. Trying to get the one-two combos working. Almost getting that rising uh, beer verse PK Fire to work. I see Jace is pressing some buttons right now. Oh, the big whiff and the teleport. Oh, this might be bad. Oh, no. And there with the is. taunt on the side. There it is. Chris saw his opportunity and called his number. Big down smash kill. And now this is a mountain. <laughs> oh, you lucky them hit cancel. You lucky them hit cancel, bro. I ain't gonna lie, dog. <laughs> gonna be able to get Down here? Off this. Oh, uh, and got hit anyway. Hey, I'm uh. J Jason always had the right idea there, but I think he wanted to try to place the down air. I'm not quite sure if that would have had enough disjoint. Oh, big sweet spot. Here we go, Jace. If this is the chance for him to start to bring this back, there have to be with this stock. Jace needs PK to take it Chris quickly. Is, you see, not PK Chris is out here getting the goofy stuff. PK Chris is out here freaking uh, <laughs> uh, falling from ledge on neutral B. Like, like this is this is the goofy stuff that you want to see when they're up by two stocks. Back throw right. sends you in disadvantage. What's the play here? Oh, and smartly waits. Trying to wait, uh, wait out a response. Phantom Knight broken. Okay. Okay. okay, Chris. He's trying to style off this man with PK Flash. Oh. Yeah. Alright, get up. Jace, uh, get though. Up, just... Get up fully college with PK Flash. You won't. You won't. Jace managing to get back to ledge. Oh, and a sweet spot. There we go. The first stock and the taunt. You'll love to see it. Jace, not giving up without a fight. Jace says, look, if I'm going to go out, I'm going out like me. Please believe it. But uh, we've seen this before, you know, and maybe it wasn't in this degree, and we're not going to see it here. Or or are we? Are we? Oh, man. Jace, above the ledge. Just what I think PK Chris was worried about getting hit by. I mean, we see PK Chris. Just PK Chris scared. He's like, oh, I don't. I remember I, I remember the last time I got hit with that fan. I remember that. I, I remember why you're here in the first place. Nah. Play oh, oh, oh no! Okay, the come on, dog. 
PJ Chris ending that one, playing some games with Jace and uh, Chris weathering the storm that Jace brought him to move on to top eight. Still well played by Jace. Uh, 